Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Gallic Z with the Void uh, free DLC added in as that recently came down. But this game I obtained through the uh, Humble, Mon Humble Bundle Monthly pack, and uh, I figured I'd give it a try. It, it's actually really, really entertaining. Um, it's not your typical side-scrolling shooter. Uh, you actually have the uh, option along the way to turn your jet into a mech. Uh, it's very Robotech-esque for those that are familiar with that series. Uh, kind of gundam -y feel. You get like a laser sword as well, uh, shields, missiles, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, and it's got a pretty good sense of humor. The uh, basic storyline is uh, you are the last pilot and you've come across a ship that uh, survived the attack on the rebels and you're trying to salvage what you can and save Earth from ultimate destruction. Uh, so uh, for those that are interested, I do actually recommend this and uh, I'm going to give it a play. I've already played a bit of it, therefore I have unlocked quite a bit. Uh, it's a bit of a shoot 'em up so we're going to get into it, and I will talk to you more about it as we go. Here we are on the bridge of the uh, ship, the USS Axelios, which uh, there's a little bit of storyline that often happens between uh, each kind of little mission, uh, as well as during. This is what actually changes things considerably for me, is that there's a lot of interaction between these characters. Of course, uh, I play the character on the left, and the one that you've just recently met after uh, being saved by, if not saving her, is uh, the uh, ship commander here by the uh, mission briefing screen. We talked to her. You made it back. I can't believe it. You killed at least. I have a plan. Fight the Imperials, strike at their heart. Atac, you're the only pilot left. W what? After the ambush, the fleet. They're all gone. And our ship, the Axelios, is running out of water, power, oxygen. Did you signal for help? Our long-range communications and navigation are offline. That's bleak. That's tough. I don't know what you'll do. You're our only hope for survival. Can you keep us alive while I get our systems back online? Okay. I may be a new pilot, but lucky for you, I'm amazing. You can count on me. <laughs> I will. Fingers crossed. I'm getting a signal. We need warp crystals. And here's where it shines, because it's uh, random. Now, there is a story being told. There are certain resources that you will end up needing or that your shipmates may need in order to progress. But it's uh, presented differently, and there's often different options available, as well as different dialogues. Uh, the voice acting in this is actually uh, quite entertaining and really, really well done. Uh, the CG effect is uh, just kind of a, a nice uh, hash there. Now, salvage is your cash, and you're able to uh, use this to uh, purchase different upgrades for your ship. I'm starting off at the very beginning, though I have unlocked certain abilities already. Uh, and this guy here is one of the people that you save in the tutorial, uh, who is uh, therefore the new ship mechanic, even though he's a mercenary. So moving on, you then have the options of changing your uh, different layout. I have not unlocked any uh, from how I'm playing now, so therefore I can't actually do that. But uh, going forward, these would be available in uh, future missions that you can uh, change it from single shot to multiple shot or uh, increase the, the auto fire speed rate. You can actually add in like fire damage, ice damage, and so on. Uh, change your standard shots to be uh, reflective, bouncing off of walls, and so on. And even your basic muzzle, which is kind of like a widespread, will end up being much narrower uh, than you normally would, and so on. And there's uh, tons of different things. As you play through, you will save the progress. And it's intended to be played not in an arcade style like I am playing now, where after every mission it's saved, you would have to play an entire season without dying in order to progress to the next season is how it's traditionally supposed to be played so this can be kind of a bullet hell shooter for you but it's got a lot more uh, interest to it and so we start off crystals with our fuel one. our power our only hope of getting home that was beautiful beam go pick up that crystal and we'll have a chance to warn earth you got it 
<laughs> so here's our ship here. I can uh, direct it around. You can see there's a little uh, red dot there. That's just telling me what direction I can shoot things in. On the top of the screen there, you'll see that... Uh, actually, I, I do really like the ability that I've got a, uh, a flashlight kind of attached to this ship. So when I get close to things, it actually lights it up. <laughs> it's really, really nice effect. Uh, but you'll see that there's a, a white arrow at the top of the screen. That's showing you the direction of your current objective. You can bring up a map. Uh, zoom out and you can see the uh, immediate star field area uh, before you go like the uh, the little da dash line at the top there is uh, deep space is where you're getting a little too far out but this uh, giant asteroid is hollowed out and has uh, different surprises inside and we're going to uh, get some of these warp crystals that they need in order to repair the ship uh, the uh, you can bring up your legend here and see what the different uh, objects are on the map if you've killed some baddies or you've found some stuff and you've can't remember if you picked it up or not, it will show up on the map. Uh, now you have forward thrusters, you have reverse thrusters. You can use them both at the same time to hold still, and you can shoot your lasers. Once you've unlocked a few abilities, you can turn into a mech, or uh, kind of a robot looking guy here with a laser sword. And you can swipe, power it up, and you can do a launching uh, large swipe attack. Uh, each one has their different benefits and bonuses. I mean, in this case, I can actually do a barrel roll, uh, in a way, and avoid hitting things or going over them. Uh, it works for most, uh, uh defensive options. I also have, um, a strafing ability, so if I'm launching forward, I can also strafe sideways around enemies, so... I also have a really heavy boost that if you look on the top right there, you can see that it lasts for a little bit of time, then it shuts off before it can be used again. But often, this is very sufficient and you're not going to miss it. And it's almost required when in the uh, mech suit in order to get around because your uh, normal flight speed is relatively slow as uh, the mech, unless you've, uh, uh, you know, or uh, at least in comparison. But uh, now, as the ship, obviously you have a ranged ability. As the uh, mech, you have the close range ability. But you also have a defensive shield that you can put up. Now you do have uh, shields in the bottom left corner there that are uh, letting you know you have two levels of shield, which is the blue, and four levels of health, which is the red. And then you're dead. Your shields will replenish, your life does not. Just like in real life. And right here, these guys are kind of like the cops in a way. They're going to go and find more help, so you need to kill them before they can. If you can even reach them. So, that guy's there. <laughs> and he, these guys will end up talking to you if they are piloted, uh, as well as your uh, the lady who is uh, running your home ship as well. Let's see. This uh, that we pass here, that area there, uh, it actually will change your map. In the top left there, you then have the asteroid map. Take that. Shields down. Hour. And you can see that guy brought back reinforcements, so if we can catch him, then we can take him out before he gets even more reinforcements, but it's, it's unlikely. That will be able to reach him, but taking damage. My shield is low. And you can see how the mech can uh, really tend to punish these guys <laughs> really well if used uh, properly. Now I have played this for a bit. When I first was doing this, I was dying all over the place. I did not live very long. Uh, but the, the uh, ship can have different benefits as well. Uh, now, I didn't show you everything that the mech can do, but there are also uh, environmental hazards like this here. You fly through these and suddenly you're going to be going really slow. They eventually will go away, uh, but there are other ones as well. There's these uh, spiky things up here. I'm not going to run into those. These do, those do damage. Uh, then there are even worse ones that uh, will just eliminate any shields that look like little triangles. Um, you can do there. You can use these to your advantage, though, especially in the mech suit, because you have 
an anchor ability or a grappling hook where if you can use it properly unlike I did just there you can use it to throw at enemies or you can even use it to grapple enemies Ooh. money in the bank yeah that sounds good uh, so let's see if we can find some more bad guys and uh, perhaps we can uh... oh also you might find power-ups laying around so it's often in your best interest to uh, explore and uh, try and find everything. And if you can't remember, you know, you can actually scroll and it will highlight it on there if there is something that you uh, got close to your screen. Now, purple means that those are part of the empire. They're bad guys. Uh, and green means that it's a bug. Another one down. There we go. Two more guys down. <laughs> now, if I'm fortunate, you now you see these bubbles here. They're a bit different, but I'll show you those in a minute. Let's see if I can get the, this this bug here. Actually, I'm going to switch over and show you that I can... Oop, Ow, sharp. If I can get it close enough. There we go. And then you can swipe, boom, boom. punch, and kick him. You can also use him to launch. Uh, but these bubbles here... Let me switch over to this. They actually will deflect shots shot at them. So there's a, a lot of strategy that you can use. You don't have to kill everything. Though if you kill things, obviously you're going to get more scrap, more power-ups. I, like I just gained plus one maximum health. That is fantastic. Things that you're going to need as you progress. So let's now I can actually do a little bit of uh, screen scrolling as well to uh, view what's going on around corners. And you can throw these guys as well. <laughs> now you can see how sometimes you can get thrown around quite a bit. Now you have the same thrusters, forwards, backwards, but you can see they're a little slower to respond in the uh, mech suit there. So often the uh, boosters are what's going to uh, do it for you. Now if you find just floating ships like this, it's often best just to swipe it a few times so you can get yourself some loot and upgrade your ship. Now let's see if we can uh, move on. Perhaps find a few more bad guys. Now there hasn't actually been a lot of chatter because I've been killing these guys pretty uh, pretty quickly. I mean, uh, this is level one and I've already got uh, upgrades going on with this, uh, which is actually uh, makes me pretty happy. But um, there we go. Yes. Oh, there we go. All right, shots bounce off walls. So now you can become even more dangerous to the uh, enemy in small areas. Now you don't have to be totally offensive. Sometimes. I see the crystal. It's too big to fit in cargo. You're gonna need to shoot it and collect the pieces. Mm. Shoot the crystal. Got it. All right. Uh, sometimes there are too many enemies. Whoa. Broken down. Okay, this is not going well. I'm gonna try and take out these little annoying laser guys. <laughs> now, I haven't shown you all the abilities still. I mean, uh, as a uh, ship here, let me see if there are any, still some guys around the corner. Ooh, stay away from the lava. Uh, the lava's a bit dangerous. Because as you shoot it, it shoots more stuff off of it. So, and it'll uh, basically burn you, which it will keep burning you. It's not just a hit once and burn. It's it's it just keeps going. So there is that collected all the bits. Beam, crystal pieces collected. Copy. Return to the war point. All right. So often you think, all right, well, mission complete, not a problem. Uh, but Often the enemy have found your warp point and therefore may be waiting for you in wait uh, or may be lying in wait for you. And uh, you notice on my map, I don't actually have everything clear. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like I've got a couple spots down here. Oh, green spots. That means that there's some scrap that I did not pick up. Uh, plus there's this area up above that I haven't unveiled. Oh, and there's a little diamond. Well, let's start by going up and see what's up there. Let's see if there's anything that we missed. Ah, 
actually, this is a really good opportunity for me to show you what this thing is. See here, if I go in, no shields. it you instantly for it. takes out all my shields. So you you want to be very cautious with uh, some of these uh, environmental effects that you may find. But then again, you can use this stuff and throw them at an enemy and take out their shields as well. So it, there's a lot of strategy involved in this. Or you can set yourself a minefield as well. Yes. And if you just run into those, you're going to end up causing problems. So I'm just going to try and fly past them. Oh boy, that's not good. Shields ah. blocked. Oh, it is on. And I have a stunning ability, or no? It's just a matter of this. That is a dead bug. Bugs are fairly weak to the uh, mech outfit, so uh, I tend to use the mech quite a bit. And plus, you can grapple onto the uh, the enemies if you need to. Um, there are also secret passages you might come across, sometimes covered by some of the uh, terrain. But uh, oh, I hear that sonic noise. That means that there's something of interest nearby. Supplies. Ooh, that'll do. Excellent. So let's see if I can get over here. Oh, enemies nearby. So this blue circle around my ship is actually an area that reveals me. If they get close enough to that, then they will end up detecting me and uh, I will be found. So that's something that you need to know if you are uh, trying to be stealthy. So if I use my big boosters, you see how big that blue circle is. Whereas if I just use my regular uh, rockets or jets, then it's much smaller and I can do little tiny bursts so that I become less visible. And if I can propel myself, then I can just kind of float near an enemy, ready to attack at a moment's notice. Ooh, or... Oh, that's gonna <laughs> smell. And you can see here is a little secret area, which often will lead to something good. And this is our salvage guy that is part of the ship, and you can buy stuff mid-mission in order to help you out. Sometimes this stuff will stay with you, sometimes it won't. Uh, laser upgrade, increase overall fire rate. Uh, I think I will, thank you very much. And you see here how that works. Currently I've got the, the regular auto fire, now it's rapid fire, and we've got the regular, and then we've got the bounce shot. So you can see how the upgrades work with this. I don't know if there's anything up there. It looks like there might still be something. Mm, nothing much of interest, just a little bit of danger. All right, let's come to a stop and see what else we might have missed. A little bit more down south, we missed a little bit of scrap. Uh, plus there might be some other upgrades. Often it's uh, well worthwhile. Oh, that's bad. Okay, <laughs> so you saw that guy. I forgot, there are little traps of these uh, uh, bugs out here. And you, uh, you're gonna have to be very cautious if you want to get the scrap that these guys have. And sometimes it's just not worth it, and I could just fly past. I picked up the scrap that I needed, but uh, I avoided getting grabbed. Some of these guys will do a lot of damage. They'll take out your shields and attack you. That guy there, he grabs you and holds on to you and does more and more damage, which is often best when you end up, uh, or when you need to, uh, escape, you can do your little barrel roll here. So there's so many things you can do, and it can be a bit overwhelming. Uh, it, it introduces these things to you quite early on. Uh, so, but not all of them, just some of them. I mean, you can see how I'm just kind of powering through these guys. Like I said, I've unlocked a bunch of stuff. Usually, at this point, all I have is the ship. I don't have the mech ability. 
Uh, plus, I don't have the ability to do um, side thrusters so I can like circle around enemies. Uh, but I do have one other ability, and I'm hoping that I'll come across at least one more uh, set of enemies so I can show that to you. And that is missiles, Receiving fire. Ooh, which are quite powerful, uh, especially if you end up uh, hovering on them long enough. And sneak up behind them, get some, get a good missile lock. Uh, there's three levels of missile lock that uses three different uh, amounts of uh, missiles. So therefore, you could use that to take down some heavier enemies that you see uh, grouped up, or uh, just a heavy enemy that is uh, waiting for you. Perhaps there's one waiting for me right now. I don't know. I guess we'll find out once we get to the end here. And if you're not sure how far away you are, there it is on your map. But I just saw a whole bunch of purple arrows. So I just wanted to slow my speed and do a slow approach. And you can see how that really thinned them out quick. Now you don't have to chase down all these guys. Where are you? Broke you down. And that's mine. But uh, I chose to anyway, because I could. <laughs> and I do see more bad guys coming in. And you will need a certain amount of time in order to be able to uh Receiving fire. Whoa. Another one down. Let's see if I can get this last one here. Direct hit. There we are, and uh, but the, oh, you can see here it says deep space. I don't want to go too far past <laughs> into deep space, uh, but uh, the idea is that this here is your warp point, and in order to escape, you have to I'm here. hold Y. Copy, bringing you in for this long of a time. And often, if that's being guarded, you are uh, possibly in trouble from being uh, overwhelmed while you're trying to do that. So you can see how it uh, keeps track of everything. Six out of seven chests, not too bad. Uh, got a bunch of salvage. Crash coins, which end up giving you salvage later on. Uh, usually when you change to the next, um, not episode, but uh, the next season. At the time of this video being made, I believe there's four seasons out right now, and you can continue on to the next episode and keep going. Uh, I absolutely love this. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, the further in you get, the more and more difficult and uh, quantity of enemies there are. There's a lot more variety as well. There are other factions you see on the uh, the mission briefing uh, there. There's purple, there's green, there's uh, yellow. The green obviously is just the random wildlife. The the uh, yellow or orange uh, is the pirates, which are on nobody's side except their own. And then, of course, there's the uh, Empire, which is purple, which you tend to uh, frequent. But they've got a lot of different abilities. You run into other mechs, other jets, uh, other just secret weapons, bosses, uh, super mutated giant insects. It, it's crazy uh, the amount of stuff that you can run into in this. And this is just the very first part here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do like Galaxy quite a bit. It brings back a lot of memories, uh, Robotech being one of my most favorite uh, cartoons of old. So if you uh, enjoyed this, please feel free to spread the mischief. And until next time, we'll see ya.